contacting the bear baiting organizers. And if they are not strong and supported, then they can't contact them appropriately. <coughs> what makes this whole issue a little bit more unique from others uh, is the last group of stakeholders, the landlords. So these are not landlords um, in the way that in the West you <coughs> see landlords, they don't rent you out your apartment. But they're more landlords in the feudal sense of the word. So um, they're very influential people with local, provisional, provincial, or national influence, very powerful. Um, and they hire bears to be baited at those events at public fairs. And that's done mainly to show on display their power and reputation. Our partner in Pakistan is a bioresource research center we've worked with since over 15 years with Dr. Fakir Yabas running the center. They have a very strong education and environmental and conservation research background and very good ties to universities and academic groups in Pakistan. Now, our aim in this um, project is to end the culture of bear baiting, and that does include more than just stopping the bear baiting events um, or rescuing the bears. We do want to make sure that whenever we are finished and, and we can't stay in the country forever, um, that this problem doesn't resurface. So our approach had to be a bit more wide and sustainable. 